Hey guys, um, just putting up this phone real quick. So I'm going to do a reaction on the General Hospital episode that came out today, uh, March 8, 2018. And I'm just going to talk about my highlighted parts, which is Sam and Jason. And um, I might talk about um, Maxi a little bit. Let's talk about Maxi first. Um, but before I start, please respect each other's comments. Please Sam, no, J Sam and Dream Shippers or Elizabeth and Jason Shippers. Just respect each other's opinion. You don't have to like it, but don't come over here and be mean to each other just because you don't like what somebody said. Okay, this is a soap. No ship is permanent. Think about that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk about Maxi and Nathan. Um, there was, there, there, I can't even speak, guys. I just came into work but anyways that ship was one of my favorite ships on GH um, because you know they were steady and they really love each other and there's no way in hell they would have broken up nothing could have broke up Maxi and Nathan um, but unfortunately he died in the show and because of his psycho ass brother who made this happen he didn't pull the trigger but you know it happened because of him but what got me a little bit is how the writers are trying to put them together like Maxi went over his apartment or wherever he's staying and here he comes out with no shirt on and then you see them talking in the bed together and I'm just like what <laughs> what how could when did you get so comfortable with someone that you don't even know you worked with this person but you don't even know him so that was weird, but Maxie is not thinking about a relationship right now. The only thing that she's really thinking about is her husband that's no longer with her and her baby. But I am thinking that Nathan, deadbeat brother, um, he's more like falling for, you know, for Maxie. He's more caring about her. I don't even know if that is... Um, if that's a, a possibility because he's such a psycho but whatever you know um yeah i see them trying to put them together like force them together but uh i really don't really don't appreciate that and another thing that i realized is that anna finally founds out at the dinner with her friend the doctor guy that you know knows everything about um drew's memories or whatnot or who is jason or who is not um she finally went away with him and to find out who's where her child is she thought it was a girl but she finally found out that it's a boy that she have a son not a girl which i'm so excited about that now that's out of the way okay she has a boy um then we go to my crazy highlighted area that i really want to dance about um is you know sam and drew but i'm not too ex you know too happy about the situation and what's going on and how sam is acting like she's acting like she wants to be there but she really doesn't okay so she goes in the hospital she's holding drew's hand you know acting like she's excited about seeing him or she's in love with him still and you know she tells him that she was with jason the whole time she wasn't by herself and you know drew is such a good person that he is not jealous about the situation or anything like that but guys i just want to point out one thing you remember when drew was with elizabeth he didn't go back to sam when he found out elizabeth lied to him about who he really is because he didn't feel for Sam like that, you know? He was getting clips, some memories of her, which was Jason memories, but he was, he didn't feel for her like that. He really loved Elizabeth. And look how, look how he just dumped Elizabeth and never went back. And he loved this girl. And she kept one secret from him. <laughs> Sam is keeping two secrets from him. The New Year's kiss, and now that she confessed her feelings for Jason. I feel like, I hope the writers continue to make Drew as strong as they did before. Like, he's no joke. Like, once you betray him, he's just going to leave your ass and move on and just be friends with you. And that's it, right? And just have a relationship because you guys have kids together. And I think Sam knows that. Um, <laughs> but 
when she went back to the hospital room and um she was talking to drew i was honestly hoping and praying that she was going to be good like a good person and tell drew how she felt about jason the secret that she kept like the new year kiss she still haven't said anything about that she acts like that never happened and she still haven't told him and now she's just like acting like these feelings that came out last episode didn't happen <sighs> this is crazy this is crazy and i keep saying and but whatever <laughs> You know, I feel bad for Sam because when this all comes out, she's going to lose a good man. But I feel like this has to happen. I feel like she has to go back to Jason. You know when you have a relationship and it ended uh, it ended, and you and the person didn't have nothing to do with it? It just ended because of somebody else and you feel like that isn't finished. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they are going to go back together. Jason and Sam will go back together at some point. But the question remains, are they going to stay together? Because Sam has to go back to Jason to figure out um, if that is the life that she had back then with Jason. If that what she wanted. I know that's what she wanted before, before she met Drew before she met drew i don't know i want to see drew with somebody else and i want sam to see him dating other people and i never got to see that because we never well we saw that when she thought he was jason like how jealous she was and stuff like that but not <sighs> i want to see them get divorced i want to see her end up with jason at some point and i want to see the reaction with her and drew like is she's going to be jealous to see drew with another person moving on and i want drew to go out gracefully i i yeah he's going to be hurt just like how he was hurt with elizabeth he's going to be hurt but he's gonna i want him to move on the same way you know like whatever you know like that's how i picture it to be i don't want him to go crazy like a psychopath trying to beat up jason maybe he will and i want to see a fight go down with jason and drew because i want to see who will win and who is really strong you know um because drew is pretty strong and jason is too that's why i think that they haven't like got like that yet um but yeah it really disappoints me of how she just did not, did not learn from Elizabeth's mistake. Um, she kept two secrets and her mom knows this. Alexis knows this and Alexis told her to tell him, you know, like maybe she should be honest with Drew and she didn't. She just didn't. And it was just so crazy. And now she's just doing the same thing. But anyways, you know, it was just painful to watch Drew just is like he totally doesn't even know what's going on. He totally trusts his wife, um, even though she was with a guy that she loves, um, she has feelings for. And he knows this and he didn't, you know, he's like, OK, whatever. Um, and Sam just made that happen, like didn't even it just made drew look like the one that's in the dark you know what i'm saying make him look stupid you know like when somebody's cheating like if you're married and i'm married and i'm married and i'm cheating on my husband with you or something and you and i meet up and my husband is with me he looks like an idiot because we're cheating and we know but he doesn't know what the hell is going on that's what it looks like and it's like sad but anyways, Jason is outside talking to Michael, which is so boring. I mean, they're trying to build up that relationship that Michael and Jason had back into, uh, what, <clears throat> 2009, 2010, and stuff like that. But it, does, it, really, it really doesn't matter right now, right? Because um, Nell and Michael's storyline is, like, so boring. Um, I heard Nell is going to have a miscarriage. Who knows? Um, yeah. But whatever, she needs to because she's just going crazy with this fake, fake relationship in her mind. And I just think that it's just, it's just boring. Um, so yeah, and that whole relationship or whole conversation with Michael and Jason was boring me, okay? 
it was. So Jason is talking to the nurse outside and he wants to leave something for Sam. And this is what pissed me off, okay? He wants to leave something for Sam and, you know, here comes Drew and Sam walking out the door and sees Jason and Drew's, Drew overheard Jason talking to the nurse about leaving something for Samantha. Samantha is not saying anything at all. And Jason turns around and look at Samantha and Drew. And Jason and Samantha is looking at each other. But Jason is looking at Drew and, you know, like whatever. But Samantha is looking at Jason like, please don't say anything. Please just, just, you know, just lie. Do whatever, but do not say anything to him. Like, she wants to have her cake and eat it too. Like, bruh, if you don't love this guy... Why are you taking forever to tell him that you love another man? I feel like she's never going to tell him if she had her way. Like, the way it's going right now, I feel like she will never tell Drew how she feels about Jason. And someone else, it's just going to come out. I think probably Carly is going to probably tell Drew or somebody else is going to tell Drew about what happened. Because Jason probably is going to tell Carly or Sunny or and it's just going to get back to Drew. And he's going to find out that way. He's going to find out about Kiss. He's going to find about find out about what happened with her feelings. And it's going to hit the fan. And I can't wait for it to hit the fan because I want to see her dynamic of how she's going to react when Drew moves on with his life. Because Drew is a freaking catch. He's like, he's like what? One of the hottest guys on General Hospital right now. Jason is an older virgin. I mean, they're supposed to be identical twins, but we know that Drew is a little bit younger. <laughs> Jason is, you know, he's he still looks young with the makeup and stuff like that. But he is, he is not Drew. Drew is, Drew is sexy. Sexy, okay? Um... Yeah, guys, so that's my review, my thoughts about this episode. I think that Sam is, she wants her cake and she want to eat it too. She does not love, she's, she loves Drew and obviously care about her, care about him, but she has this history with Jason that would never go away. And all the experiences with Jason and the life uh, journey you know, all the ups and downs and everything. So it's kind of, she has that with Jason and then she has Drew. The, sh the, the last, what, three years? I think it's the last three years or five years. I'm not sure how they count it, but it's the last three years, right, of their relationship. And she doesn't want to give that up. She she wants Jason, the, cra the one that makes her safe or feel safe, but she wants Drew, the one that gives her the stability the, the life that she knows that she cannot ever have with Jason. The hearts want what it wants, right? But anyways, guys, my phone is about to die. Um, yeah, my phone is about to die. <laughs> and uh, just leave comments below. Can you leave comments below and I'll read them. Hopefully I'll get some feedback, please. Um, but let it be positive feedback. Um, be nice to everyone. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review, I guess. Bye.